Uh, so here today we're talking about how to uh, adjust for inflation with uh, calculations. So basically inflation changes the purchasing power so you need to adjust inflation when you're comparing let's say an old value like a 1980 dollar value to a present day value. If you don't adjust for inflation then you're comparing two different pr prices. It's not a valid comparison. So basically what I've done here is I've compiled the um, CPI data from 1947 to present and that data is available on the uh, FRED website so if you go to Google type in FRED and then type in economic data it'll pull up. It's actually a very useful tool for any sort of economic data. So here we're trying to convert uh, $300,000 in 1980 dollars to 2011 dollars and the way we do that, I'll actually delete these so I can do it with you. So we take $300,000 and we multiply it by the, the current CPI divided by the old CPI. The old CPI is the 1980 CPI. And here we'll see that $300,000 in $1980 is equivalent to 794,141 in 2011 dollars uh, due to uh, the inflation and the decrease in purchasing power and I think that this is very good for everybody to realize because a lot of times people compare an old value uh, without adjusting for inflation so for example they'll be saying well my granny bought her house in 1936 for ten thousand dollars and today it's worth three million so housing is a good investment but the thing is is that a lot of that price appreciation is due to inflation so what you need to do is adjust that purchase price for inflation and then do the comparison so the valid comparison so another way we can uh, use this inflation data is to convert backwards so we can convert three three hundred thousand dollars in twenty eleven dollars to nineteen eighty dollars and we do that by uh, dividing. So we divide the current CPI divided by the old CPI. All right, so $300,000 in 2011 dollars is equivalent to 113,330 in 1980 dollars. So you can see it makes a big difference and it really needs to be adjusted for. So here's an interesting application I came across to show how much of a difference this makes. Um, the, the yellow box over here shows the nominal uh, best-selling movies of all time. So we have Avatar at the top, then Titanic, Lord of the Rings, and so forth. So something you'll notice about this list is that all of these movies are pretty modern. And the reason that is, is because uh, dollars are less valuable today. So this, this dollar amount uh, this is in millions of dollars. So Avatar grossed uh, $2.8 billion. And um, see, uh, if that was adjusted for inflation, then it would be much less. So in real terms, the... Uh, highest grossing films are Gone with the Wind, Star Wars, The Sound of Music. You see that Gone with the Wind is from 1939, so that whatever it grossed is very small. But when you adjust it for inflation in, in 2011 dollars, it's going to be greater than this 2.8 billion dollars. And something I found pretty interesting about this is that there's really only one overlap here, which is uh, Titanic. So it shows that inflate adjusting for inflation is very important and uh, hopefully this helps. Okay, see you guys in the next video.